Good evening and welcome to the Gentleman Series Part 3. Today we will be discussing uh, dressing the gentleman and I will be discussing um, a few pieces that I have and um, some of the some of their uses so um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, right here I have on the table um, I have some neck pieces, I have um, some cufflinks, shirt, sweater, a cardigan and I also have a um, a spring summer outfit, um, a seersucker blazer and a some white pants which um, rule of thumb no white at the Labor Day um, but gentlemen should be minimalist um, so everything we shouldn't take things to the extreme in other words um, the bright flashy things or basically um, you know the you know wearing things real big and stuff we should leave that to the women especially when it comes down to um, for example cufflinks some people like their cufflinks real big. I like my cufflinks big, but when you're talking about being in a business environment and being around business people, you want to try to keep um, that those kind of things, you know, to a minimum and keep cufflinks and you know things like that very small, especially for um, the male. So let's go ahead and get started um, with the things that I have on the table um, when we're talking about dressing the gentleman. Um, Right here, these are one of many watches that I have. Um, I think it's important that a gentleman carries a timepiece on his wrist. For one, it's it's important, you know, because if somebody asks you for the time, you don't always want to go to your cell phone, especially when you're in places that your cell phone is not permitted. And also, when talking about um, a timepiece, it's, it's, it's professional and it, it's very conservative and... Um, to wear a watch on your arm. Um, that was one thing when I was growing up. My dad used to get on me about wear a watch on your arm, wear a watch. Even if it didn't work, just wearing a watch adds so much to um, to you know what you're wearing and um, as far as like your whole appearance itself. Um, next, I just want to um, want to start talking about the necktie that I have here, and basically. It's a paisley necktie and a handkerchief set. Uh, you would wear it with something, you know, maybe like a plain um, tan suit or something. But because this um, necktie and um, handkerchief is so busy, you would want to tone it down with a um, solid suit. So this is more, you know, you would wear this um, in the professional setting, in the business um, um, setting. And you definitely don't want to... Uh, wear anything that's going to be busy, like a suit that's real busy that I already have things going on like stripes and um, pinstripes and your checker boy. You don't want to do that with a busy tie like this. You want to keep it solid when wearing something um, as busy as this. But like I said, it, this is more if the necktie and handkerchief itself is more for the professional setting, uh, people wear them to church. You know, very versatile neck um, neck piece. And there's many ways it can be tied, but um, there's just a basic way that I tie mine. Um, over here to the left, we have the ascot. Now, the ascot is not something that you see people wear every day. Um, this is something I wear them to church sometimes, but this is more of a formal. Um, neck piece of neck wear. You don't really. This is nothing you would work. You would wear when working at the office or working in a professional um, setting. You would more wear this when um, maybe if you were going to a wedding or if you were invited to a formal event. You would probably want to wear something like this. Um, I know I wear them to church, like I said. Um, if you're one of those people that wear them to church, I think it looks great. Again, it's one of those busy, um, one of those, it's paisley, so that means the design is kind of busy. So you try to, want to try to keep um, whatever you wear with it to a solid color as well. Um, next we have the bow tie. Um, this is just a pre-tied bow tie um, here. Uh, I don't I don't really care to tie bow ties, but this is a pre-tied bow tie and um it's small. Like I said, the same same um the same what's the word am I looking for? It's the same concept with the cufflinks. Um wearing these 
wearing, wearing bow ties and stuff that are too big, you know, it just kind of takes away. So you want to try to keep them to a um, small, kind of classy level. You know, the small bow ties are, are to be kept small and classy. You know, you see people wearing the big bow ties. Because um, I used to wear them, you know, when I was younger. But you want to try to keep them um, to a minimum. So, um... That's, it's a very small. It's a very very good accent to any outfit. Um, very versatile. If you want to wear it to church, uh, school, um, you know, anywhere, you know, it, it can be dressed up, dressed down. So yeah, the bow tie is is real versatile. But like I say, it, this is a small bow tie, so you want to kind of keep it small. Because again, we have to remember that the that the male is the minimalist. Also. Um, we have the cuff links and uh, cuff links of course are to be worn with French cuff shirts and what I have here is a French cuff shirt and all you do is take the cuff link of course you know somebody's arm will be in it but you'll take the cuff link um, and usually these shirts have um, our double um, have the double opening for um, cuff links and you just stick it through the first opening and then you'll um, go through the second set of um, openings on the cuff of the shirt and basically basically you want to um, latch it or um, or connect it right here at the back and you're good to go um, Sometimes, you know, depending on the width of your arm or your wrist, that may be a little uh, difficult to put in. But usually, if you have a long enough shirt, and if you have, um, if you usually give your arm space enough, they're usually pretty simple to put in. Um, next, we have the v the sweater. Um, I think that every gentleman should keep a sweater in his wardrobe. Um, you know, because. Uh, the sweater, you know, it it's very, very gentlemanlike, very classy, and um, this is a V-neck sweater, and um, you know, you could be worn with just about anything. And some people prefer to wear them with turtlenecks. They can. Uh, personally, I like to wear mine with a shirt and tie. Um, whether I wear it with jeans or with a uh, or with um, dress clothes. I think that you should still try to look professional in these sweaters because um, they get sweaters are professional anyway and um, this is a green color but um, you know wearing sweaters you should still try to keep it professional with a um, even though this is kind of a bright color you may want to tone it down um, sometimes I do a yellow shirt with it um, Sometimes you you may want to do just a white shirt. It just depends on your preference. But this is a um, a sweater, and I encourage every every gentleman to have a couple of sweaters in his wardrobe. Um, right here we have a cardigan, and I just love cardigans uh, personally. Um, this is a it's made by the Isoid. Um and I have I have the same cardigan in cream and I also have it in gray and I have a few other ones that have argyle print on them but um, like I said you know with these sweaters with these cardigans like I said this, these are one of those pieces that needs to be in every you know gentleman's wardrobe you know the cardigan I, I just love um, to wear the cardigan because um, there are many different ways you can um, button it up um, if you want to wear it open uh, me personally, if you just want to keep it professional, keep it buttoned up, um, but try to leave the two bottom, um, oh no, <laughs> the two bottom buttons, try to leave them unbuttoned uh, if you can. You know, there's just the many different ways you can do it. Or if you prefer to button the two bo um, bottom buttons, you want to tuck the bottom of this cardigan, um, you want to try to fold it under um, so that it doesn't look big or so that it doesn't fall um, below the waist and last but not least um, as I said earlier in this video I just have a spring outfit here um, basically a blue bow tie the seersucker jacket and the white pants um, and this is just a simple outfit I put together during the summer worn with a white starch shirt and there you see it um, 
this has been the gentleman series part three and i hope you enjoyed